Hey guys, it's Joe with PocketNow.com. Have you ever wondered what the recovery image is? What it does? Why do we have it? That's what we're going to talk about on this episode of the Android Power User. So the recovery image, just what is that? Well, first we need to talk about Android and the way that it's set up. No, I'm not talking about icons and widgets and all that kind of stuff. I'm talking about the way you, well, to put it in PC lingo, the way the hard drive is partitioned. Does that make sense? Okay, so what we've got is we have essentially a system image. Now that system image is, is where the operating system lives. It's where you know your apps go, that's over in the data side and whatnot, but there's another part and that's the recovery image and you don't use it all that often. In fact, really the only time you use it is when you're applying an update. So let's say you've got a perfectly stock Android and you get an over the air update. It's got to install somehow. Now it's going to download essentially an update.zip file and inside that is a manifest and a whole bunch of other stuff, instructions and files essentially that says, here's what you need to do to apply this update. Now it might be named something different, but for the sake of clarity, we'll just call it the update.zip. All right, good deal. And it is, it's just a zip file. You can open this thing up on your desktop computer and look at all the stuff that's in it. You can't do much with it on your desktop computer, except flash it onto your Android, but hey, you know, it's always fun to look inside zip files. Anywho, so once that file is downloaded onto your machine, it triggers something. And that something is a reboot into recovery. Now, most people call it recovery mode or just simply recovery or who knows what else people call it, but it's your recovery image and it varies by device. When your stock OEM, they look pretty much the same. In fact, all you're really going to see when you're applying an over the air update is a download prompt and a prompt to say, Hey, do you want to apply this? You say, yes, it'll say, okay, I'm rebooting. Make sure you don't unplug it. Make sure you have a full battery, yada, yada, yada. And it goes ahead and it applies that update after it reboots. So reboots into this super special recovery mode and you basically see a status indicator that says, hey, I'm applying the update, please wait. And you might even have a status bar and then it's done and it reboots into your system image and that's it. Okay, but that that's not really cool. That, that doesn't make you an Android power user. What makes you an Android power user is knowing just like being able to swap out your system image for say a custom ROM, AOKP, Cyanogen mod, whatever, you can swap out your recovery image. In fact, if you want to do a custom ROM, you pretty much have to replace your recovery image. So how do you install a new custom recovery image on your device? I can't go into details and specifics on every single device. Suffice it to say, you're going to need a desktop computer, you're going to need ADB and Fastboot, and you're going to need the recovery image that you're going to apply. And of course, every recovery image is specific to every device out there. So you can't use one recovery image on another device. You've got to get the one specific to yours. After that, it's essentially just flashing that recovery image, which is in a .img file, over onto your Android, which will overwrite the existing recovery image. So if you wanted to go back to stock, too late after that, unless you go back and restore the factory recovery image, which you can do just as simple as flashing a, a custom recovery image. Okay, once that's installed, it's pretty easy to reboot into your recovery image. Now the way you do that, again, varies by device. Usually you're holding the the up volume, down volume, and the power button, and it just does it. Or maybe just the down volume and the power button. Again, it varies by device. It's quick search, you're gonna find out how to do that. Once you've got it, you can do whatever that recovery image lets you do. So for the remainder of this video, I'm gonna talk Clockwork Mod Recovery. CWM for short, or just Clockwork Mod. What that recovery image lets you do, of course you can boot up into it, and you can flash stuff. You can apply other images, system images. You can apply updates. You can install new kernels. We'll talk about those in an upcoming video. You can do backups. You can do restores. You can fix permissions. You can do a whole bunch of maintenance 
inside that recovery image, and I like it quite a bit. Now, you don't manually have to go in there if you've got some other tool, we've talked about a couple of those over at pocketnow.com, that let you specify what you want to do in the GUI, on the Android side of things, the system image side. Like, uh, I've got ROM Manager and I want to install an update to uh, CyanogenMod Nightly. I can do that through the GUI, and the GUI essentially sends a parameter string down to the recovery image as it reboots, and it does it all automatically for me. So although I technically see the recovery image, I'm not pushing any buttons, I'm not navigating around, I'm not telling it to do anything there, because I did it all in the GUI and it just handed everything off. Makes it very simple, but that's all in the recovery image. That's what that's doing for you. I highly recommend Clockwork Mod Recovery, if only for the fact that you can do full system backups with that. Very nice, very convenient, I like it quite a bit, and it saved my bacon more than once. So, hat tip off to you, Clockwork Mod Recovery. That's just a quick overview of what the recovery image is, why we have it, what it does, and a little bit of how it does it. If you'd like more information, of course, head on over to the article at pocketnow.com. If you liked this video and thought it was informative, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you want to participate in the conversation, have any questions or discussion, head over to the article at pocketnow.com. If you're watching this video on YouTube, we'll have the link right down there. So just click on that, it'll take you right over to the article. Leave your questions and comments there. Talking about all kinds of cool stuff like the recovery image, for Pocket Now and the Android Power User, I'm Joe Levi.